and you yourself or, or, or just when you want to talk and unmute yourself, right? Or do you, do you want to channel too? <laughs> it would be fun. Would you like to try? <laughs> Looks like it. Good day too. We are here. We are with Asami. Hello. We heard you have questions. Yes. So who, who, who am I co creating? Yes. Well, this is entanglement of energies. I am called Shakana. Nice to see you. And you are talking to Sasa people. Yes. I'd like to speak about the as I understand, they had a fascination with limitation and they became embedded in the energy of the earth. It became part of its consciousness and they created the idea of the re reincarnational path. And they created the idea of domination. Is this correct? Uh, you're talking about them um, who? Sorry? about whom you are talking about the uh, atlanteans atlantic well that's not precise from our point of view oh, would you like atlanteans were humans and uh, they created society of high technological advancement compared to you. Also their realization of the connectivity to other planets, other consciousnesses in the universe where advanced compared to what you experience now on your earth plane. Yet, they have created a path of destruction for themselves you would say by denying their indestructibility as you would say you are all indestructible in the core and if you constantly act as if you would need to protect yourself. This need for protection has plotted for them a scenario of destruction. Because when you are creating protection, against something, you are at the same time plotting a test 
of that protection for yourself. Is this understandable? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'd like to ask about the uh, the crystal towers and the thirteen crystal skulls connected with the um, the crystals in the chakras of of the sphinx. Are they? Are they crystalline orbs? How are they all um, how are they all lock together? As we understand your question, you are asking about the consciousnesses that are behind the crystal stars, right? Yes, and also. Um, can we use it in a way to, as a grid, to uh, to lock into the consciousness? Yes. Actually, <clears throat> the skulls are by themselves it can be related as to. Record, recording device. And if you look at the eyes of the skull, you are opening yourself up to absorb the information contained therein. There doesn't necessarily need to be consciousness behind the information that you receive as it is what you would call a recording of the past and the future. And to receive you don't even need to possess or find the skull. You just may imagine it looking at the eyes of the crystal skull and allowing yourself to remember to become the member of the 13 to remember that everything is by default neutral and letting, letting it in without effort. And the downloads will flow to you in those moments. So the crystal skull is more like an activation device for you. A reminder of what you are. Is this understandable? Yes, it is. Thank you. And the um, the crystal the crystal chakra points in the sphinx. Do we use this in the same way? How, how is this connected? Well, we perceive things to have a little different meaning in overall agreement of your humankind. The swing contains a secret. And that secret is 
also connected to your history, but to very specific part of it. In connection with Anunnaki, in remembrance of your lives as Anunnaki, as also the people who met Anunnaki. And you may go even further when the swing was not a swing, it was originally the carving of Anubis. And remember that part of your history. Vividly because you were there. So, in connecting to swings, you are connecting to yourself as a market. Do you think you can use this? Yes, sir. thank you. Thank you. And as some of you may perceive, while we were delivering to this information, we were connecting to Anunnaki as well. Would you be able to give me a symbol to use um, to make the uh, connection um, um, more memorable for me, please? All right. Well, realize, first of all, yes, that these are just symbols. These are just permission slip for you to allow yourself to experience what you have prepared for yourself already. And you can become that future self now without needing the truth. So when you realize that you are well on your path, we do not wish to say that you may be off your path. The intention is enough. The intention is the trigger, is the opening of the door to the experience. And you may experience this whenever you intend to do something which would in agreement with what you agreed with or the rest of humanity experience as altering your consciousness. So when you're planning to do that, you at that moment experience how powerful your intention is. You may experience effects of the drug before using the drug or without using the drug, just through your intention. <sighs> of course, that comes down to the fact that you are always in charge and in complete control of the state that you put out So these symbols, these version, you use just from the habit of thinking that you need them. And you can let go of that habit and realize you are in control of yourself. Completely. 
and act as if you knew it was so. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your questions and for your boldness. So this uh, 25,000 year cycle that we're coming to an end to, was this created within the idea of Atlantis and then becoming embedded in the energy fields of Earth? We do not perceive that to be so. More precisely, it was done much sooner, even, even at the times of Lemuria. That was my next question. You are taking advantage of the cycle of the great that was put there by Pleiadian. It was pre-planned that humanity would evolve in such a way. Well, there has never been consciousness like you have here on Earth, because it is more close. It's closer to the realization of your Godhood than it was ever before in this life. But Lemurians, are the ones are your forefathers you would say are those that their dna was working for them at the higher percentage than yours Now your DNA is working approximately about 30% effectivity. And you can see that easily reflecting on the overall health of humanity. So Lemurians were healthier and knew about their connection because they still remember. And you are in moments opening to even 70%, which was out of reach for them. But usually you work around and under this 30% of effectiveness. Was this information helpful for you? Yes, it was. Thank you very much. Yes, and back to... I have the... the original grid that was put on your planet to support the evolution of humanity by Pleiadians. This grid, as we have shared, is supported by cetacean family, by dolphins and whales. So when this even if, if even when there would be disturbance in the great cetaceans and dolphins would support 
the information to stay within the consciousness of your planet. So they are like safety, search. And through connecting to dolphins and whales, you may also align with the grid that was prepared for you to evolve. And you are aligning as we speak, because dolphins, whales, the grid are just the symbols within your consciousness. And you set the grid as Pleiadian. You have created it, therefore you contain it. That is the law of the creator. As above or below, as you say. Yes. Yes, we see this as an opportunity to repeat what we have said before in our last transmission. And that is that everything around you is perfect holographic projection of what you are in the moment. So your relationship, your family, your home, your planet, your country, your planetary system, your star neighborhood, your galaxy, in your universe is direct reflection of you in the moment. As you change, everything changes. As you allow the change to be reflected on you, everything must, by definition, reflect that change. Through the past, at least, through the path of least resistance. What do you allow? Happens. Allow the change. And again, allow the change. And know you are loved while you allow the change. So that that love for yourself, which you are radiating in, and is allowed to be reflected back. And if you don't allow the change, then you are just your natural self. And then ends up to be the pain. So that you would allow it. Does this work for you? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. That's uh, that's really beautiful. Thank you. I um, I seem to be drawn to wanting to go to uh, Mount Kanigu. Would you be able to, um, as I understand it, it's um, uh, what's up to 
What is stopping you? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, um, okay. I'm going. Thank uh, you. I would like some information. I'd like some... What to expect? Uh, no, we would not give not, you that information. <laughs> <laughs> not what to expect. Just... Um, be ready. Be open and stay in that state. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for following with us in this way. It is fun to play with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, it's true. I um, I have an experience with. Uh, yes, I, I I'm going. Uh, I just uh, I just wanted to know a little bit more about it. Um, before I went. All right, we will give you. one symbol and it depends on you what you will make out of it okay the symbol is the ring and we will not give you Anything else? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm going to be focusing on that now. It, that's it um, on you what you will do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yes. Um, is there anything um, personally that you'd like to say to me that? Um, um, you feel that I need to hear. I'm ready to hear. All right, that was a better question. <laughs> Thinking into your desire. Thinking without a fear that you don't deserve what you desire. Let it overflow and let all the love or the passion overflow from you at all times. You are that infinite. You are that bottomless. And we thank you for being open to receive such a message. Yes, I really, I really felt that. That's. Um... Yeah, that's uh, one for me. Thanks very much. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Sometimes we hold on to it instead of just letting it flow. That, really, <laughs> that exactly. is my thing, to let it flow. Let it flow. <laughs> Letting it flow is always a choice. And there is always a choice to resist. So learn to choose to flow, to know you are loved. Reprogram yourself so that you flow. And then there will be no other choice for you but to choose love. Can 
you feel can you feel okay. that the air is where you are heading? Can okay. I can feel it. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah, it's uh, ooh, full on. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh, yeah, it might feel before you are ready to let go of the control. So you become the greater realization of knowing that. Your greater self is always in control. You are always in control. Before you come to that point, you might still feel drawn away or like if something is running away from you. You might feel that you would wish to move forward unsettled but that feeling is the resistance to the now so instead of running away just ask yourself how can this serve this what is here now how can this serve me positively how am i using it positively why am i still choosing it and use it in this feeling of needing to do something to dissipate back to the floor which is natural, which is effortless, which doesn't have to be struggled with, which doesn't, which cannot be enforced, just may be allowed. It's like You like this touch, you like the flight of butterfly. And you have a saying on your planet, or even scientific term, butterfly effect. Do you know what one swing of the wing of the butterfly can do? It can change world. It can change world. The flow is love. The flow is love. Your love for yourself. Love oh, yourself. That freedom. To not needing to do anything perfectly or precisely. But be precise. Be perfect in everything you do. And don't judge the outcome. Don't judge what you are leaving behind. If you do that, if you work with that, if you play in that intention to be precise, you are to be perfect for the moment. You are, you cannot be otherwise. Your judgment of what has happened is breaking you down. It's breaking you. It's the break. Don't push the break if you don't intend to. Just 
drive. Then be over. Be over emphasizing your protection. Don't be showing off your strength. Don't be showing off how powerful you are. Know that you are all powerful. And then you become humble and proud at the same time. Does this make sense for you? It does, thank you. That was, uh, that was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the creation together. Yeah. Anything more we could share with you? No, I'm, uh, I'm done, thanks. Wow. For today. It was lovely speaking to you again. Thank you. Thank you for receiving us. We are in love with you. You are love. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> <sighs> nice. Thank you. Thank you, Louis. <laughs> that was great for me. That was so good. <laughs> yeah, so much love. Yeah. <laughs> when reality was supported, when they, when they, you know, talk, it's like, <laughs> Even me, you know, they, they were like lifting me up, you know, like, oh, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> ah. so, so much love. It was, oof, it was uh, not overpowering, but uh, yeah. Oof. Overflowing. <laughs> Overflowing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was, it was. Thanks Bye. so much. Thank you. You're great. <laughs> Yeah.